and also I'm um, enjoying it for you. Thank you. I recently realized that um, I haven't been putting our video into full screen when we've been recording so on the little sidebar you can just see all the like nerdy discords that i'm a part of i mean not that it was obvious that i i'm not that it already wasn't obvious that i'm a big nerd but like now you like have all the evidence evidence. you could possibly need so but hey now now i know to do that and also I don't care. I Oops. talk about all those things a ridiculous amount to begin with, so. Got my seltzer. Is that seltzer or ginger ale? It is Canada Dry brand seltzer. Ooh, but it is not ginger. me like, off there. It's not ginger. Yeah. You see the label and you're like, but no, she is seltzer. I see you have a Tom's flag yes. on your little wall. I have a pillow that I made out yes. of one. I, I did notice you made that. Mm-hmm. Love Tom's. We do stand. Love him. We love, a, <laughs> love Tom. We do love a sustainable um, <laughs> company. Also, my mm. brow slit has migrated to the other side of my face because my bangs are growing out and covering the original oh. one. So she's growing back in. Very nice. Your hair is long. Yeah, she's quite long. Looks good. And I'm not mad at it, but also I'm just not comfortable going to get it cut for a hot minute. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Anything else going on with you? Nope, just working too many hours, and then I come home every day and i'm tired gross like life has defeated me (laughs) yeah you know every day i just i listen to my silly little podcasts while i do my silly little tasks and then you know (laughs) rinse and repeat yep that's his life but we do have some fun questions topics of discussion for today at least i think so i do too I think they're gonna, like, really do a number on my brain, though, because I'm at, like, low, low function right now, given my day. Not ideal. But we're, we're gonna, we're gonna do our best. We're gonna roll with it anyway. Let's start with our first one, which I feel like is kind of a classic thing that you talk about when you're, like, in eighth grade, which is, if you went to a store, like, what three items... Could you buy at the same time and nothing else that would make the cashier really uncomfortable? And I'm going to say challenge mode, nothing that implies sex or that you are um, potentially going to end your life. That's someone else's life. Is that like on the table or? How about this? Nothing that's going to get you arrested. Just something that's going to make them be like, what, whatever the cashier is just going to be like, what are this person's goals in life? What are they planning? What is going on? What is it like inside their head? Mm. You have got to be kidding me. Hello, Sony. Hello, Sony. This is not sponsored by Sony. I'm going to have to blur that. Some tech issues. Yep. Uh, it's our podcast ghost once again. No, he, it's my camera. Or, she, or they didn't like Bridget today, and they're like, mm, goodbye. It's the Maddie show. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Terrible show. What the hell? Hello. Man? I just started using they, my. They decided to return you. I just got a cam link to be able to use my like, my actual camcorder as a webcam instead of just, like, the $20 something webcam that I got off of Amazon. And even though I am pretty darn sure I turned off, like, the power saving mode, she just shut off on me randomly. So if it happens again, I'm just gonna switch back to the old webcam, but we're gonna hold out and hope for the best because I really do be enjoying this, like, nice, crisp, clear picture that we've got going on. 
And also, it would be nice to actually get to use some of the nice equipment. The very little nice equipment that I actually have. (laughs) So, fingers crossed. We'll see. Anyway, where were we? Questionable purchases. Questionable purchases. Um... Hmm. Yeah, see, as soon as I can't imply that I'm gonna, like, fuck a cactus, as... I don't have any good answers for this. As soon as I can't kill someone off, I'm like, ooh, back <laughs> to the drawing board. <laughs> What's wrong with us? I don't know. Um... We're, like, two ends of a spectrum that is, like, very chaotic. <laughs> chaotic, just in opposite directions. Mm-hmm. It's something. What's, can we, like, what store is this? Like, I feel like... I don't know, let's assume, like, a Walmart or a Target. Like, a place where you got a little bit of everything, you know? See, like, this changes my answer. Because if I were to buy three items... Now, it was not specified that the items can be different or the same. So I would... Oh, no, they can be different. In my head... But in my head, I'm thinking I'm going to Costco and I'm getting like giant size things. Okay, I like where this is going. I pull up to Costco and I like just get three huge like jar like containers of mayonnaise. Like, I would have questions. I'm not gonna lie. I would have questions. You don't use like condiments all that oh except ketchup i use ketchup like it's nothing i go through those bad boys like all the time we've had this discussion you do (laughs) but you are not the one girl that i know but like if someone bought an absurd amount of ketchup i'd be like oh i understand but if they're out here buying uh mayonnaise like like what are you doing with all that i guess at first i'd be surprised but then i'd be like oh they're probably making like a large batch or something for like a cookout like restaurant size i i guess i would just think like oh this weirdo really likes mayo i mean that is valid any because they have like they have liquor at costco right i think so i'm not actually a costco shopper i just know they have giant size things (laughs) is costco regional because my mom has a membership to sam's club which is essentially the same concept. Of... Just, like, large Maybe bulk. it is? Have you heard of, like, BJ's? Because that's yeah. the same type of deal. But I'm pretty sure yeah. we... We definitely you have one have... around here. I don't know if we have a Costco, though. Mystery of Costco. Mystery of Costco. It was actually a funny thing. I remember the other episode when we were talking about, like, which fast food fries are the best. One of the ones you said was, like, checkers or something. We don't have them. Yeah. You're missing out. We don't have checkers. And also the other day, this has happened a couple times. A couple days ago, my sister and I were watching TV together, and we saw, like, two commercials back-to-back for things we don't even have. Well, do you know what they were? I think it was, like, Hardee's? Hardee's? Like, Carl's Jr. and Hardee's, like, the fast food restaurants. I do not know what that is. Yeah, we don't have those in upstate New York. And also... When, I remember, we have, like, one Sonic around here. And Sonic, like, it's not that good. But, like, for literal years before there was even a Sonic, like, anywhere in the area, there were Sonic commercials. And I just... Mm-hmm. Don't it's funny you mention know? that, because the first Sonic that came to Long Island was probably about, like, seven or so years ago. So it's, like, fairly new here, but I grew up watching Sonic up by... We are switching I, the webcam. Continue your story while I handle this. Um, I remember seeing Sonic commercials growing up and just thinking, what is that? Why right. have I not encountered one yet? Now if I could find where I put my webcam. <laughs> oh, we're falling apart. Oh, found it. Oh. We're falling apart tonight here on the podcast. Were we ever together, though? Were we That's ever? The question. <laughs> that Were we is ever put together? debatable. Put together. But you know, I've been feeling very Humpty Dumpty after the fall. 
these days, Oof. like just in pieces. <laughs> yeah, that's a. I would say that's a valid. Jeez, as I'm dropping things. <laughs> Way to be Dear feeling. Podcast ghost, please return Bridget to us. We kind of need her. I just want to use my nice camera, man. I haven't had a reason to use it in the longest time. <laughs> I'm not this going anywhere, why, doing anything. That's why we can't have nice things. This is why we cannot have nice things. Thank you. All right, let's see if we can get this bad boy working. Hopefully, 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 I guess I'm announcing this now because I'm about to reference it. Um, I can get my camera in line in time for the stream we're doing this Sunday. Whoop, whoop. Yes, our Valentine's Day stream. We're going to have some... So romantic. <laughs> lonely lonely friend hours lonely friends but together but together oh, I'm just right. waiting Plug for you to plug that come in back. <laughs> I'm going to have to like blur out all of the Mhm mm Oh, so sad. Back to low quality. <laughs> yes, hopefully I can get yeah, that figured get out. on my level. <laughs> in time for the stream on Sunday, because it, it'd just be nice, you know? Anyway, um... Mm -hmm. What were we talking about? <laughs> Now that we've gotten significantly oh, derailed. Oh, we were talking about Sonic commercials, but that, oh, that yeah. wasn't, yeah, that wasn't even the question. What we're supposed to be talking about is absurd. Making cashews uncomfortable. Purchases that are questionable. Also, don't actually yes. do this. Don't harass service workers or make their lives harder in any way, shape, or form. This is all just hypotheticals for funsies. Mm-hmm. Um... Hmm. Yeah, well, would I don't there know. be a purchase that makes their life like there are certain purchases I feel like that something they're gonna think about lives, like more than once that day mm -hmm. like something because like as a person who has worked in retail like I'm not paying attention really like if ever you're like embarrassed about buying something it doesn't matter every teenage Ooh. cashier is just dead inside and trying to get through the day but I have a story, actually, of experience, but you go first. What I'm thinking of here is something that does not immediately just, like, in one ear and out the other, no processing whatsoever. Something that they think about once or twice before the day ends and just be like, man, I wonder what they were doing. <laughs> That's I the goal. Have asked. Continue. Um, okay, so my exp recent experience has to do with COVID and, like, you know, how we're not supposed to be, like, in these large gatherings. Mm -hmm. Now, I work in a bakery, and when I came home from college, upon graduation, I uh, started using my degree to work at the bakery I've been working at since I was 14. Like, what a great time. No, <laughs> I had nothing else going on. I'm like, all right, this is it's a job struggle. I need. So, yeah. So um, in, it must be like May or June. So like very much like newly into lockdown and social distancing. Mm -hmm. And there are people out here buying full sheet cakes. That, now, I know your family of four isn't eating all this. So so what's what's the deal? What is happening here? Like, of course. Yeah, we're gonna sell it to you, but like, give them a questionable look. Like, all right, what are you? Yeah, doing actually, I used here? to work in a pizza place, and I gotta say, if you're ordering a sheet pizza right now, what are you doing? Yeah, I don't know. That was, I mean. I so guess I guess in the current climate, there. you could make a cashier concerned by just buying anything that implies a large gathering. Yeah, I mean, I was concerned for, like, you know, the attendees at your, your whatever you're having. 
Valid. A very valid concern. Sometimes, it was funny, sometimes people would justify it, like, it's outdoors, it's distance, don't worry, like, I don't know. That's a pretty big cake you're walking off. Sure about that? God. But yeah. Yeah. Maybe if they bought three cakes, that would satisfy the question, which some people do, so. This is true. I'm trying not- I'm trying to think of something that, like, genuinely implies, like, something weird. And not just, like, buying absurd quantities of a single item. Like, I'm really trying to think of a good combo. I feel like if you're a cashier, though, at, like, a general type of store, like a Walmart or a Target or any, like, supermarket, you've probably seen it all. Like, if you put in a few years there. This is true. Like, nothing phases. And although as shoppers, something might be, like, scandalous to buy, like... I don't even know. Like, what you would think of scandalous, they're probably like, eh, scam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I really did think this was a good question, but now that I'm like... It is a good question. It's a good question, just, like, but also my here. own limit, my own decision to do this question challenge mode is just proving to me how immature of a sense of humor I am because if I can't imply that like somebody's gonna like fuck a cactus I got nothing what would that purchase involve just a cactus it would involve a cactus um condoms and lube probably or you know some other related what if you just wanted, like, uh, a desert-type ambiance? This you is know, true. Like... <laughs> you make like, a point. Get the wrong idea. <laughs> I'm just envisiting my desert vacation that I can't go on. Okay. Oh my goodness. But yeah, as soon as I can't, like... I feel lead like, people down that thought I don't know, path. I feel like it's also how the shopper carries himself. Like, if they're confident making that purchase, like... More power to them. Off. But, like, if they come at me with a shovel, a rope, and, like, I don't know, gasoline... Okay, yeah. I'll, and they're confident, I'll be like, all right, I, tr- I trust you. Like, you, you know what? This guy seems to know what he's doing. <laughs> But if they're like, I don't know why like, I didn't think of that. I'm always on here like, saying that arson is the sexiest they're... crime to commit. Just yes, matches, gasoline, but... lighter fluid. Yeah, if they're like <laughs> thinking about it and like seeming like squeamish or just hesitant, I'd be like, "Do you need to talk? Like, <laughs> what's happening here?" <laughs> or like, ski mask, duct tape. I don't know something else, something else along those know. lines. That's, that's funny you mentioned ski masks because I feel like that's something that is now not questionable whatsoever because like, everyone has the face. Yeah, but mask. a ski mask usually has a hole like, for your I... mouth. Oh, like are we thinking yeah. like the ski mask that people use in movies to commit no. robberies? Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess I forgot about the mouth hole. <laughs> After 2020, will they stop making ski masks with mouth holes? Stay tuned. Anyway, what were you saying? Oh, I guess, in short, it depends how the shopper carries themselves at time of the purchase. You make a valid point. It adds to their questionability yeah i guess if someone's being like real like kind of shifty about it i'd be like mm-hmm. you can do something weird with that right <laughs> rather than seeing like a just normal regular like person just being like yeah what's up with their odd combination i'd just be like oh they probably just came here to as a one-stop shop type thing and they just look these yeah. items just look weird together yeah i guess you're right <laughs> They just happen to need items that could possibly kill someone. But, you know, like, one-stop shop. I get it. (laughs) 
I also, I feel like especially this question gets particularly fun if you're talking about a Walmart, because as far as I know, you can, like, still buy guns at a Walmart, which is concerning and probably shouldn't be a thing, mm-hmm. but if exactly. if this question is taking place in the current universe that we inhabit, that is a piece of context we can include. <laughs> true i feel like the store does matter as well like if i trust someone a hundred times more if they're making the same purchase at a target but they come into a walmart i feel like all right what's going (laughs) on here there's a special brand of just odd that you can find in any walmart across the united states Mm -hmm. i don't know what it is it's just something about the energy the energy of a Walmart is just is chaotic and unknowable. It's unstable. Unstable. Sometimes I just go to Target like, just to walk I, around. Yeah. Well, I'll, of course. I make a the, day out of The it. energy like, of a Target, to, like, heals me. You go to you go to Target, and Target tells you what you need. Exactly. Like, like my soul separates from my body at a Target, and they just meet again when I exit. <laughs> they meet at... They meet at the checkout, like with them when I'm with all my with bags, all my like, like oh. stuff from the dollar section, and then and then yes, and then Target releases me back into the parking lot, and mm-hmm. I can continue about my day. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty accurate. In Target, I know we have some listeners that are European. Is there like a European equivalent to the the Target versus Walmart dynamic that? the states has i'm curious i want to know i do also drop a comment tweet us tag us i don't know do we have any even any other social media i don't think so (laughs) but yeah let us know (laughs) all right moving on Oh, I like this one. Um, what sport would be the funniest to add a mandatory amount of alcohol to? Like, you have to take a couple shots before playing to make things extra interesting. You wanna start this one off, or do you have one in mind? Nothing is springing to mind. Funny, you say springing, because I was gonna say gymnastics. I was, here's the thing. I was going to say that, but then I was like, I'm not looking for someone to get seriously injured. I'm just looking for people's lack of coordination to be humorous. I see your point, but at the same time, one, I feel like any sport, if you're drunk, you have the ability to get injured. And two, I feel like if you drink so much, you won't even be able to do those like stunts that they do you'll just like kind of do a, a sad drunk cartwheel and yeah that's what i want to see when i say gymnastics i'm not yeah. looking to see somebody like severely injure themselves on a balance beam or something i just want to see somebody not mm-hmm. land a cartwheel right Mm-hmm. so like what's that specific section of like the olympics where it's like floor gymnastics it's not like balance beam or anything Uh, it's just like a floor routine yeah Mm -hmm. that i could see that i feel i i don't know i'm trying to think of what would be the funniest most entertaining Mm, Hmm. let me think golf golf you know i was thinking that but Trying like, to swing I feel the like club. At that point, like golf, b- golf is like all right. I, I'm a big golf hater. Like, Here's the thing: I am too. But have like when we used to watch at my house when I was a kid, we used to watch America's Funniest Home Videos like religiously when I was mm-hmm. younger. Because like you know that was when you still had to like send it in on like a tape, and just yeah. all these videos of like dads that have had one too many on the golf course and they like swing and they let the club go or they like do a 360 and fall into, like, the pond or whatever. Those are prime. (laughs) I don't know. I feel like, like, golf is so... I know, okay, I realize there's a lot of strategic, like, movements that go into that, and it it is 
difficult in that respect, but like as from a viewer's point of view who's not into it, like it's oh my so God. boring. And, yeah, like, no, so, golf is like the most boring sport in the world. So relaxed that at that point, if you're drunk, like you might as well like drunk golf is just like sitting at the bar because like you're just like sitting down at that point, not golfing. Okay. Points taken. Points taken, I suppose. But then I gotta think of a new answer. Hmm. I guess American football would be kind of funny, because everyone's, like, you're protected already. You got plenty of padding. Yeah. But I also don't understand football, so honestly, if somebody was really screwing up, who's to say? <laughs> Not me. Not hockey. Mm. If that could end badly. And also, hockey is already unpredictable enough as it is. Hmm. Table tennis. I don't know. Tennis? Yeah, or table tennis. I think both would be funny. Oh, table tennis. I was thinking, like, it's not really a sport, but, like, dodgeball. That would be funny. <laughs> Drunk. Drunk I dodgeball. like that. <laughs> oh, and also, the only Regular sport I'm good at is badminton. It's funny. Really? Yep. Terrible at everything else. So, I'm gonna throw that out there just for consideration, even though I don't think it would be the most entertaining drunk badminton actually not gonna lie that has happened between me and my sister several times well because nice. in the summer we have a badminton net that we set up in the backyard and like you mm -hmm. know we got a cookout going a couple beers hanging out on the lawn play some badminton it is fun sounds like a good time Yeah, actually, I do like the idea of dodgeball. That seems pretty- or, like, any kind of, like, of those, like, elementary school gym-type games where that you would play, like, where it's just, like, running around mm -hmm. one team versus another, like, divided down the middle of the gymnasium or something. I feel like those have potential. Tag. Drunk. Tag. <sighs> or, like, capture the flag. Yeah. Nerf war. These aren't even sports, but like nerf wars. I see, I do see quite a fair amount of potential with these. But again, this is all coming from a person Maybe. who is just not athletic whatsoever and knows the bare minimum about many sports. I think I'm sticking with drunk dodgeball. That sounds like that's a pretty solid answer. I'm, you know, gonna make a final. I'm gonna make a final comment saying, "Drunk dads on a golf course can be pretty funny." But I agree, dodgeball. All right, I. Can we live with those? Yeah, I'm good with that. Solid. What do we got next? Oh, this is kind of a classic, like, glass half empty, glass half full type thing. But the question is, um, when does it stop being partly cloudy and become partly sunny? For me, I think of that as, like, partly cloudy. I know there's mostly cloudy. I feel like that's, like, if we're doing percentages, that's, like, 80% mm -hmm. cloud coverage. Okay. Partly cloudy is, like... 60% cloud coverage. Partly sunny is like 40% cloud coverage. But that that leads me to think, what's like exactly half? There's no like distinction for like if it's half cloudy. <laughs> like this the is sky true. is 50% cloud. We should invent a word mm -hmm. for that. Imagine he went around saying, like, yeah, it's half cloudy outside. Like, 
what but like that if someone like said that offhandedly in conversation that would activate my fight or flight response like i don't like that at all (laughs) it's it's half cloudy outside oh bad i hate it (laughs) no we need a word for it that is not that because i don't like that whatsoever Half cloudy. I love it. I'm gonna start saying that. If you start <laughs> saying that on the regular, we're gonna have to end the podcast. I used to, uh, in school, I was the news director for uh, the radio station there, and I would have to oversee the, our student meteorologist. Mm-hmm. Imagine I said, yeah, say it's half cloudy out. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Bad. I hate that. We had a list of um, words that we couldn't use. We always had to describe the weather using an adjective, and there was some. There's a list of banned words that were said on the air. Once someone described the weather as hot pockety, no, so that went on. That's <laughs> that kind of great. Ban. That went on the ban list, and oh, lit, like lit. <laughs> you can't say it's lit outside. <laughs> I mean, you can, but not like. Not like in that. A professional sense. But yeah. Half cloudy. Oh, wait, so was this your high school? No, this was this was at Geneseo. Oh, oh yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> I went to a high school that was big enough to have like it was kinda like news, like little televised morning announcement type things. And one of the kids who was in the Best Buddies program was our, um, they called him our weekend weatherman, and he would tell us the weather every Friday. It was great. Always brightened my day. And that just reminded me of that. That's nice. And I just assumed you were talking about high school for some reason. Smooth brain over here. (laughs) Been a day and a half. Hasn't it always? I am just, like, low energy, just, I'm trying to muster it all up, but yeah. sometimes, like, I am defeated at the end of the day. Like, life, like, just pummeled me to the ground, <laughs> and there I am, lying on the floor. Yikes, that's rough. I mean, I gotta say, I do agree with your analysis of where we draw the line weather-wise, Like, if I can... Although... I don't even know where I was going with that sentence. You go. I was gonna say, like, I really never, like... I know, yes, meteorologists use the term partly sunny, but, like, I never mess around with that nonsense. If I see a cloud in the sky, I, like, are automatically switch to cloud mode. <laughs> like, oh, it's partly cloudy. Like, but there are cl- there can be clouds in the sky on a sunny day. Yeah, no, like I would say like clear skies if it's okay, you know, yeah, completely clear. And I would still say it's sunny if like you know it is actively sunny. But if there's like a good amount of clouds, I'd say like yeah, it's like partly cloudy. Okay, yeah, I agree. <laughs> that tends to be how I. At least in every instance I can think of, like, how I would describe maybe, it. Maybe it's because I'm a half glass full, uh, empty type of person a lot of times. Yeah, maybe right, it's like, our, our like, pessimism. Oh, clouds. Like, <laughs> clouds. It's part of the cloudy. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a fun, that's a fun, like, public survey. Like... Optimists and pessimists, and whether or not they yeah. say things like partly cloudy or partly sunny. There you go. Um, if you're like a statistician or something and you need a project, you can have that for free. <laughs> Here you go. Enjoy. We're not gonna do anything with it. Wow, we, we're coming up with like products on this podcast. Like, we are giving away like free, like, statistics, like, analyses like we offer everything here you are welcome this is our one-stop shop it is for all your 
This is a one-stop shop for all your ideas. <laughs> for all of your thinking needs. We got project ideas. We and got product ideas. We got fun debates. Pretty, pretty good for two people who have no thought. Like, we got most no of all these ideas. No think. It's food brain. Maybe we cancel each other out. Like, having so. both of our, like, smooth brain personalities. It equals one <laughs> smart person. One smart person. But also, I have the opposite theory with another friend of mine. We're both, like, not to be, like, bragging or anything, but, like, we are both objectively, like, pretty decently intelligent people. But then when we're both I'd in the same room, that. it's just chaotic dumbass <laughs> mode 24-7. Wow. So, I don't know. I'm inclined to agree that our general smooth-brainedness on this podcast cancels each other out, but I've noticed the opposite I, I f- effect in my life, just with a different person. You know, I have two, and I feel like that goes hand-in-hand hand with, like, you know how when you're with different friends, you kind of you don't change who you are as a person, but you have to alter your personality a little. Like, if you're with a friend who's, like, very low energy, just likes to hang out, like, you might not be, like, bouncing off the walls, whereas, like, I don't know, if you have a different friend who is, like, maybe a more adventurous type and, like, outgoing, you try to, like, match their energy in a way. I feel like the same thing happens with, like, intellectual thoughts. Like, it doesn't change who, how you think and, like, your intellectual level as a person, but you kind of just show more, like, different degrees of that depending who you're with this is true you know i get you i do (sighs) hydrate remember to drink water everybody take care of yourselves yes and drink your tea with the tea bag in do not do that (laughs) (laughs) this is what your psa is bad (laughs) do not do that good for you they don't want you to know this. <laughs> they don't want you to know this, but the ducks in the park are free. You can just take them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what show or, like, what that's from. I just know that's a meme, and honestly, nice. I love ducks. I would go to town. Like, all right, yeah. get in. <laughs> We're going home. Come with me. Oh, <laughs> I do. I do love a good duck. There's this duck on TikTok whose name is Munchkin, and the account just posts videos of, like, them taking this duck to different drive throughs to get ice water. It's the best! I love that. It's, it's so, so wholesome. wholesome. And it's, like, the most perfect-looking duck, too. It's, like, a cartoon, like white duck with his little black bead eyes and orange beak just Aww. like it looks like a child's drawing of a duck i love munchkin <laughs> so much like... love munchkin but the best for munch nothing but the best for munchkin <laughs> quick little digression into ducks there rightly so Rightly so. And taking a hard left turn is stealing from the rich a morally good action or not. And I suppose when I say rich, I mean like billionaires, not like somebody who works at a law firm and has a nice car. Mm hmm. Billionaires, yes. They've already yeah. exploited people to, ac- like, to accumulate that kind of wealth. Stealing from billionaires is a morally good action. Period. I feel like if they're not gonna disperse their wealth, someone's gotta Someone's gotta do it for them. Thinking like Robin Hood type of actions here, like Yeah. And I mean I'm sure this was evident from most things I say and also retweet. I'm a pretty staunch anti capitalist. <laughs> So yeah, you know, 
redistribute the wealth by force if you have to. I mean, like, these, some of these people are, like, so incredibly mm-hmm. wealthy, your, our brains cannot perceive how Okay, literally, here's the thing, though. If you so stole, like, are they, even a single billion. Are they gonna miss it? Like, they're not, that's they gonna the notice, like, like. If you stole a single million, or a, a single billion, even, from Jeff Bezos, is he really gonna notice? No! So yeah, um, eat the rich. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I'm with you on that. I'm with you. Yeah, I think the extent to which billionaires just as a concept have to exploit people in order to accumulate that kind of wealth. Mm hmm. So much worse than like. Because it's it's not possible to have that much mo- money without like exploitation along the way. Like you you just can't. Yeah, it's literally just not possible. So I think like if you're taking back what essentially belongs to other people, if you're you know kind of following the trail mm-hmm. of exploitation. From somebody who has... And trickle-down economics does not work. Just putting that out there. I saw on Twitter the other day, it was like Ronald Reagan in hell wondering when heaven's gonna trickle down to him. (laughs) (laughs) Ugh, love it. But yeah, like, if you're taking back what essentially, like, belongs to other people that's been, like, being hoarded by one single billionaire... Like, what they had to do to accumulate that wealth, I think, is automatically so much worse than, like, the kind of moral wrongness that we generally assign to stealing. Mm Mm-hmm. And also, is it stealing if you're taking back something that, you know, should have been given to, like, you know, let's say Amazon workers? You're repurposing. Like, Amazon workers. Like, if they were to take all the money from Jeff Bezos that they, like, deserve to be paid for their labor, like, I don't think that's stealing. Or at least not by, like, you know, Mm -hmm. the kind of black and white good and evil definition. And I feel like there is, like, there is no black and white definition of that, because... These billionaires, like, you don't think they... Yeah, they are stealing. The they kind of they, are. Yeah, like... <laughs> like, big time. And these are, like, these so also like, aren't original know. thoughts that Hot I'm... Hot kettle. Yeah, exactly. These are not original thoughts that we're having. People have said this much more eloquently in, like, mm-hmm. actual published theory. <laughs> we're just here ranting. Yeah, we're just here. We're just... Again, smooth brains. <laughs> But, um, yeah. Steal from the rich, it's fine. We're not stealing their thoughts, we're repurposing them. I am never more hydrated than I am on podcast night. I know, after these, like, I really do be running to the bathroom. (laughs) (laughs) Cause, like, I'm just talking, and I'm like, ooh. Throat's dry, water time. And... Oh, let's fill let's fill the silence with a big gulp. Right? And then so the cycle continues. But you know, stay hydrated. It's good for you. Um Oh, here's one. I like this one. Uh what's something that everybody looks stupid doing? Does not matter if you are the most graceful, dignified human being on the earth. You're doing this, you look like an idiot. Trying to put your change mm-hmm. back in your wallet when they give it to you at, at the at the cashier. You know, and you're like fumbling with it. I feel, I feel like that's a universal feeling of like everyone feels like they need a rush and they look stupid doing it. But like, 
from the cashier's perspective, like most times you're really not holding up the line that much. And like, okay, yeah, actually, that's something I always when you're like feel trying. stupid yeah. doing. You're right. I don't. But it's I not quite the same. You're truly not like stupid looking doing it. You know. So then we must still. We have to think more. <laughs> we have to search. We gotta search. Hmm. Hmm. Time to take a big gulp. <laughs> 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 Um, wearing those, remember, like, the hiking toe shoes? Oh, I hate the, oh, that they're, like, basically, for those who don't know, they, they're, like, glue gloves. But your for feet. your feet? The, Supposedly, it, it is, it does something good for, like, like, the actual, like. I don't care what it does. I don't know, supposedly it it's good for, like, arch support and, like, I don't know, just making sure that you don't start having, like, foot pain at a young age. I don't know. So if you're, like, doing a shit-ass ton of hiking and stuff, but I, I, there's physically no way to look dignified wearing them. It just isn't gonna yeah, happen. I... Um, I mean, I feel like this is something that everyone says, but, like, when guys wear their pants, like, past their ass, like, in their underwear showing for miles, like, that is just stupid. Yeah, point taken. Going on the, the fashion train here. Um... I want to find a better answer. And these, I know. this is one of the things that, like, I'm going to be in the shower later thinking about, like, ooh, I should have said that. I'm like a good shower thought. Um. Mm hmm. Uh, but everyone looks kind of dumb when you're just, like, standing there butt ass naked waiting for the water to warm up. Like. <laughs> That's not a- that's not an I don't think that's an attractive moment for anyone. There's a thought. I'm trying to think of something- I'm trying to think of something <laughs> real good, though. I feel like I'm getting- I'm, I'm getting close. I'm thinking of so many things. I'm thinking of little I'm things. I'm thinking of things- I'm thinking of things that, like, I think I look stupid, but in reality, I know I don't. Like, waiting online sometimes for things, I feel like I look stupid. Um... Um, no. But, like, I'm, again, I'm trying to think, like, I feel like I'm getting close. I'm like, oh, yeah, everyone looks a little, I know. like, a little I'm... dumb doing this. I want something that makes every single person look like Boo Boo the Fool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Maybe, like, taking selfies in public. But I also like, do that. Between, like, like, if I'm at an event. I mean, I do it- I do it too, but I also, like, judge people who do that. And, and not with- I'm not talking about with people, because that's different. Like, alright, I understand you want, like, a photo with your friends. Like, you are, like, I don't know, out in public somewhere, like, maybe- It could be, like, dinner with people pre-pandemic, and, like, you're just out here taking selfies at the dinner table. Yeah, or, like, okay. Especially when you're with others. Like, I- it, there's also a difference between, like, if you're just by yourself and you want to, like, you know, take a picture, alright, that's one thing, but, like, I feel like when you're in with a group and you're doing it, like, weird. But not if, like, you want a picture of yourself and they take it. Like, that I can understand. You're at mm -hmm. an event and you want to, you know, a full body picture of how you look. I get that, but... Oh, I got it. When you almost slip on ice. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> That and will strip the, the dignity from <laughs> anyone. And the best is when you almost slip, you don't, and then you slip. Yeah. Ooh, I have a Harsh. story. Do tell. <laughs> I have the best story ever. So, 
I was in like seventh grade and my mom was dropping me at my friend's house and this was the first time I was going to her house so like I didn't know which house it was oh no <laughs> so she drops me off mind you it's the middle of winter and there's ice everywhere <laughs> she drops me off I knock on the door and this man answers and i'm like hi is so and so home i'm thinking oh yeah this guy's her dad no who's that all right i have the wrong house i turn around and then slip down his driveway <laughs> i just thought of another and thing then, <laughs> and then he she ended up living two houses down from that and i got in the car i'm like thanks mom <laughs> She's just laughing. When you wave to someone, but they're not actually waving to you. Yeah. I want to disintegrate. Uh, <laughs> it's worse when you actually call out something like, hey, and then it's not them. Do not perceive. <laughs> no, I never feel any more, except when I'm sliding down strange people's driveways on ice. Yeah, that's like, pretty I bad. <laughs> I never want to disappear more than that, but that one takes the cake. Like, I wish I just, like, disappeared as I was gracefully descending down <laughs> the driveway on my ass. Like, just, like... I fade into oblivion. Do, like, <laughs> a like a Thanos snap dissolve, just... Yes. As you descend the stairs. I like that. That... Yeah. I've had those moments. That's one of my prouder moments. I love that for you. <laughs> All right. Our last question for the night. Frankly, in my opinion, really isn't even a question. And it's, which way do you watch TV on your phone? Portrait or landscape? And if you're watching it in portrait... Mm -mm, no good. What, what is like, your day-to-day -day existence like? Why would you... Why would you watch it like this? You're... You... Mm. Mm -mm. it's this Bad. way you get more screen yeah i don't i mean unless it's like you're just like searching up like a like you know quick 10 second clip on youtube you're like okay just gotta check this thing real yeah. quick or like remember this line like, from whatever know, the... that's fine mm -hmm. but if you're that like actually matter. like but like if you're sitting down to watch like a tv or a movie like whatever, if you're like yeah if you're like on a plane like, watching something on your phone and you watch that whole thing in portrait mode? Excuse me? Like, why would you do that right? to yourself? <laughs> Nothing like watching a David Lynch movie on your phone and knowing that he'd be really mad at you for doing that. Ugh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, king. But yeah... Don't watch things in portrait mode. Unless it's like a TikTok, because those are supposed mm. to be like that anyway. Well, yeah. If like, it's formatted, that's like the exception. TikTok if it's formatted Instagram, that way. Yeah. Like, or like Snapchat. Like, yes, that is formatted uh, that way. But like. But I'm talking any about like. A movie or a TV yeah. show. Like a movie or a TV like show. Netflix. If you're watching Netflix, like, why? Actually, Don't. you can't even watch Netflix that way. It has to be landscape. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, um, un only if it is formatted that way, or if you're just, like, you know, searching a clip real quick just to remember, like, you know, refresh yourself on something. Mm hmm Only times portrait mode is acceptable. That is all. Other than that, um, if you're watching a movie in portrait mode, I'm scared of you. <laughs> yes. I am afraid. I think this might be one of the first times that I, like, perfectly scheduled or, like, estimated the number of questions and, like, how long each one would take. And we don't have to, we like... We went on the correct number of tangents. Our timetable was we went perfect on tonight. Honestly, I love like, that for us. We, like... I know. We got it right, finally. It only took 20-something episodes. <laughs> eh. Eventually. But yeah, and hopefully I can get my 
camera stuff stored ugh, camera stuff sorted in time for the stream because I feel like that would put a lot less pressure on my actual computer if I could have a decent camera running. <laughs> so fingers crossed and um, quick refresher. I don't and I don't think I ever actually said it like actually said it perfectly. But uh, the stream is this Sunday, Valentine's Day, at um, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that will be on Twitch. And the link for our Twitch channel is in the description, along with all of our other fun links. And yeah, um, Emily Whitney is going to be joining us. And we will actually be writing that person eats the Mona Lisa fanfiction that we joked about back in episode 17. So... Join us for some chaos. I'm forward to it. Yes. Should be fun. And we'll probably wind up doing more more Smasher Pass, because I feel like that's that's pretty topical for Valentine's Day, wouldn't you say? Activity, yeah. So yeah. We hope we'll see you there. Yes, and thank you for joining us here. Of course, and we will uh, in addition to the stream be back again next week. Bye! Bye. This week's episode of the Fighting with Friends podcast was hosted by Bridget Kelly and Maddie Robbins. You can find other episodes of the podcast on Acast, Deezer, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Spotify, and YouTube. Follow us on Twitter at BridgetKelly98 and at MR5MAR. Rate and review us on your podcaster of choice like, comment, and subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Twitch, and join our Discord community using the links in the description. You can also help support us via the ACAST supporter feature. Thanks for listening!